Women's sports in general have evolved a lot over time in the past couple of years. As you see with women's basketball moving up high in the ranks across the world, you see other sports as well moving across in women's sports starting to be popular as it goes on. But one monumental change is happening right here in Kansas City with the first built stadium for just women's professional soccer here in Kansas City. Now, how will this change women's soccer in general? We hear from one of the co-owners here, Chris Long, says this would be a definite game changer here for women's soccer. We're investing in this for these players to help them be in a position where they could succeed at their craft like never before. With owners Chris Long and Angie Long and also Brittany Mahomes feeling kind of energetic about this, they now got to figure out now what are some of the different features or ideas that we could possibly use that could be interesting to look at here at this new KC Current Stadium. I met up with one of the construction leaders here and Cassie Morrison to kind of talk about what are some things we should keep an eye on there for the current stadium. Um, new big feature as well, it's being a downtown stadium next to the river. This area hasn't been built up for a long time, so it's really great to have it down here. Um, the teal seats going in are really bringing a lot of color to the stadium. Uh, the pitch club is an awesome feature that people want to come visit and see. Um, as well as just coming to the matches. One of the other cool features that they talked about through this whole thing was also having a final beam at all the players and fans and everyone else signed up for this. Let's take a moment to witness and be part of the next big milestone in Kansas City current history. Also look at the entire NWSL as well. They've kind of built up a lot of viewership in the past couple of years. According to The Athletic, back in 2022 for the championship game itself, it was the most watched game in league history, averaging about 915,000 viewers on CBS Network, which is about was a 71% increase from last year's title game back there in 2021 that averaged about 525,000 viewers. So now, where will all the other media people be sitting at? I talked to another engineer from Henderson Development and Caitlin DePenning to get some answers. I guess to this stadium is it's the first to be done. So a lot of uh, Major League uh, Soccer, uh, baseball, football, they all have uh, broadcast standards, but NWSL doesn't have that as strict yet. So uh, we're, we're kind of working with the team, uh, the NWSL, figuring out what they need in their spaces. So the press level has broadcast spaces uh, for, for what they need now. And then there's also um, going to be broadcast truck areas for them to pull up and do additional broadcast uh, spaces. Um, and then build that out as they need it uh, as, the, as the league and the requirements grow. Now, how do the head coach and assistant coaches think about the new stadium? Here's a one-on-one -on -one interview from the head coach, Vladika Adonowski, to talk about this. The venue is ridiculous. I love it. I, you know, in the last couple of weeks, I had a chance to, to, to uh, tour the, the facility several times. And every time I go there, I just take a moment to stand in front of the, in front of the four, uh, home bench and uh, just uh, imagine uh, for a moment what is it going to be like with, uh, uh, with the fans, full stadium, uh, full stadium of supporters. Uh, stadium that appreciate uh, the game, that appreciate the sport, that appreciate the players and uh, everything that, uh, that this uh, game stands for. Again, this is going to be a big impact, not just for the players and everybody else, but obviously for younger girls that keep inspiring to try to keep pushing barriers for women in soccer and in sports in general as they try to move up in the ranks in the National Women's Soccer League.